So, I'm having a bit of a crazy week. I'm rocking a ponytail today. It's ridiculously sunny behind me, but let's do this. So they dropped the Dungeons and Dragons trailer uh, at Comic-Con. This is the first like big Comic-Con panel. Let's see if the trailer lives up to that. Uh, I saw the, the thing at the tavern, like the character introductions uh, that was on Twitter last night, and it looked a little weird. Uh, Chris Pine looked like he was hosting a Dungeons and Dragons like dating reality show, right? Like The Bachelor, Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, but anyway, let's see how this looks. It's funny to me. I've never really been into Dungeons and Dragons, but everybody loves Critical Role, so when they had their animated series, I was like, all right, I'll review it, and I did. But now I'm like, this looks exactly like that. Why, again, it, it blows my mind that they didn't hire anybody from Critical Role to be in this movie when they're basically doing the exact same thing, and that's already wildly popular. And how do you not put someone from Stranger Things in here? I mean, it seems like a slam dunk. You know, too bad, they, you know, Joseph Quinn wasn't a thing, because uh, I know someone who's available. All right. All right, here we go. Let's take a look at this. Yeah, that's the short attention span. Don't click away. Intro. Here's the thing. We're a team of thieves. And when you do this, you're bound to make enemies. Sometimes those enemies come looking for revenge. Are well, those VFX complete? Truth be told, we helped the wrong person steal the wrong thing. Don't you hate when that happens? We didn't mean to unleash the greatest evil the world has ever known. But we're gonna fix it. So how do we pull that off? Uh, figure it out over a drink. Probably best. You need. No, this is a very critical oh, role. Maybe this is. We're gonna need strength. All Dungeons and right. Dragons. Story. I know you don't. We also need courage, Back to school and magic, and you. Sophia Lewis looks great. Buddy. Needs me some Hugh Grant. Oh, these VFX. What is that again? It's an owl bear. Let's go. Oh, was that her? Oh, that was cool. Be warned. There is evil here. I'm glad he's on our side. This one's dangerous. Hey. But whatever happens. We'll be ready. What is it exactly that you bring to this? I'm a planner. I make plans. You've already made the plan, so... If the existing plan fails, I make a new plan. <laughs> so you make plans that fail? No. He also <laughs> plans to loot. Not relevant. Oh, that's good. You know, that's funny. I was just, it's funny, literally, but uh, it's funny on another level too, because I was just about to say, this movie better be really funny. And that was pretty funny, because uh, it looks like all like, what, you know, the Danny McBride medieval spoof, remember that? It looks a little bit like uh, the Warcraft movie, you know, you can see a trend in the movies I'm listing here. Uh, and it reminds me of, you know, when Bill and Ted went to hell. So this is gonna have to be really funny to pull it off. I mean, I mm, I gotta tell you, it looks to me like a, like if this was on like Netflix, I'd be like, oh boy, you know, like this looks like like a, if this was on streaming, you'd be like, we hit the jackpot, baby. But as a theatrical release, I'm like, should I wait for streaming? I don't know. Uh, I think Sophia Lillis, and I thought she looked the best in the preview image, by the way. Chris Pine is so funny. So even though he looks like off, he's so funny. I'm very excited. Uh, but Sophia Lillis, I think, is just, she looks fantastic here. So she looks great. I like her longer hair. Uh, and I know that Justice Smith can be really funny, but they didn't really show him off here. Uh, Michelle Rodriguez, I always enjoy Michelle Rodriguez. Uh, Hugh Grant, they didn't really show him off either. But this is like, uh, uh, you know, they have a long time until this movie comes out. It comes out in March. So they don't want to give it all away. They seem to have already given away all their big action scenes. So they got to save some of the funny. Uh, and some people think, you know, I thought Regé Jean Page, 
I thought it looked like his beard was painted on, but I've seen some other people say he looks really hot. So I'd be curious, how do you think he looks in the movie? Uh, and also, I have to say, I just watched him in The Gray Man, and he was the worst actor in the film. So that might be, uh, you know, uh, weighing in on my, how I feel about him here. So, but maybe he'll really surprise me in this movie. Uh, I, I don't know how funny he is, uh, but maybe he's supposed to be the sex appeal. Uh, they're like, all the actors are like, we're all supposed to be the sex appeal. Thank you very much. Uh, but, you know, and also, for those of you who are really into D&D, do all missions seem like this, right? I mean, this seems exactly like Critical Role spoilers to me. The Legend of Vox Machina. It seems like exactly the same thing, almost. Uh, although they don't have any, like, really, you know, like, they don't have, like, a, uh, a, like, trolls and all that stuff, because I guess those are expensive to be part of the main group. I mean, Sophia Lillis is playing a character who looks, like, exactly like out of that animated series. And I really liked that character in that animated series. Um, but maybe all, oh, it's a campaign, right? Maybe that's what all campaigns feel like. Maybe Dungeons and Dragons doesn't have a lot of, uh, you know, variation. I couldn't believe, by the way, they had that dragon scene in the beginning. I'm like, that takes real guts. Uh, I'll do the PG-13 version of that comment uh, to do that when that's like right out of Game of Thrones. And I don't think you could do that better than Game of Thrones. So I'd be like, are we really going to have a dragon lay waste to a battlefield and like have it not look as good as Game of Thrones? And they're like, we are. Uh, and this is a Hasbro movie, so I guess it does, I will say, it does look better than the G.I. Joe movies. Although I like Snake Eyes, this doesn't look quite as good as Snake Eyes, but it looks grander than Snake Eyes, I will give it that. But um, that was Hasbro, right? I think so. They keep changing the name of their company all the time, their film company. All right, so what did you think? Does it make you want to play Dungeons and Dragons? Because that's the whole reason Hasbro paid for this. Uh, so, I mean, I just, I, I'm not, I mean... I don't know. I'm, I'm happy with my relationship with Dungeons and Dragons. I enjoy it in other media. Uh, but how does it look to you? Uh, I guess I'd watch it. But I do think it looks much more like a streaming movie, like, like a great streaming movie and an okay theatrical release. March is like March 3rd. That's supposed to be, March is supposed to be a pretty good month. So good luck to D&D. &D. All right, what do you think? Share your thoughts down below. Thank you for watching with me. Subscribe today. And of course, as always, you can check out some more videos right now.